thing was wedged so far up there, I just couldn't budge it. Oh my god. Yeah, I got a picture of you. Well, did you try twisting it? No, could you imagine the damage that would have done? Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, Chrissy, you're not late. You're on Chrissy time. <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, Time Riders. I'm rereading the whole series because the new book is out in the next week or so. Mm -hmm. Eternal War. Yeah, well, it's a nine series book which is based on three teens who are recruited by an agency moments before their deaths. And they have to protect established historical events from rogue time travellers. Sounds interesting. What's the name of the agency? The agency. Yes, the agency. What's it called? The agency is called the agency. Uh, well, I'm a struggle to think of names sometimes too. But the whole series has been amazing and the new book is the last one in the series so I'm really excited to see how it finishes. My Alex Scarrow. I read his first book, A Thousand Sons. It was brilliant. But you haven't read Time Riders? Well no, it's aimed at teenagers. Well yeah, it has been quite a while since you're a teenager. I get it. Wow, Alex Scarrow. He wrote one of the books for the Doctor Who 50th anniversary. Um, there was a series of books, right, all the different Doctors. He wrote the Paul McGann one. Time Riders. I've heard about this. Won quite a few awards, hasn't it? Yeah, it was nominated by Puffin as Best Fantasy Adventure in their recent Best 70 Children's Book of All Time press release. Yeah, uh, but there's no sex in it, so you wouldn't like it, Doc. <laughs> You're right, though. I'm sure it's well written. I'm just not really into children's books. Well, he's also written a series called Eli Quinn, which is described as Bridget Jones in space. Sounds more like it. It's probably more for your age group. And she's a pretty cool guy, Alex Scarra. He used to be a rock guitarist, uh, a games designer, and a graphic designer before he became a professional writer. Yeah. Mm. Sounds fascinating, Jim. How do you know that? Because I'm a geek, and he wrote a Doctor Who book, so I found out stuff about him. You're scary. Just sometimes, but scary. Well, he's written other things. He's written um, screenplays, uh, thrillers. And nine Time Riders books. But seriously, you should check them out. The first one was Penguin UK's first ever number one on the iBookstore. And they're all about three teenagers who travel around in time. Oh, a bit like. Jim, I swear to God, if you mention Doctor Who again, I'm going to pound you. Well, yeah, but only in the same way that Harry Potter is about kids that can do magic. This one, the characters develop throughout the whole series and the plots are fantastic. And they fight against bad time travellers. Ow! I didn't mention it! Yeah, but you thought it, didn't you? Well, they appeal to Doctor Who fans as well as people who like things like Indiana Jones and sci-fi and just well-written adventure books. And teenage bits who can't handle adult books. I didn't see her go and buy that. She didn't. Uh, Chrissy, do you want to wrap this up for us? All right. Time Rider. Infinity Cage by Alex Scarrow is released on the 6th of November 2014. It can now be ordered on Amazon. So how did you get it out in the end? Oh, I got a picture of that as well, actually.